Hi everyone, welcome to another cosplay tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up cosplay to auto collect bales. So, for today's task, we're going to need the auto collector, and we have field number 28 in front of us that has been baled with round bales. So, the first thing we want to do is open our cosplay hot, which we do by clicking the right mouse button. And in here, we want to record a course that drives from the field and back to the farm with the bales. So, let's start up the engine and let's set up that course. So this field has been harvested um, and baled and because of that we have a course for the harvester. We can watch that here, we can see that in here. If we go into field 28, we have the field harvest, uh, field 28 harvest 7 meters. That course has uh, returned to first point which is up here, which means that whenever the harvester is full it's going to return to, or whenever the harvest is done, it's going to return to here. Now that also means that when, if we reuse that route, which we are going to do for collecting the bales, whenever this bale collector here is full, it will return to this point here. So we need to set up uh, the return course to the farm with the bales. We need to set the start point from around here somewhere. I'm just going to set it here. So. We go into here and we say start recording course. Uh, let's line this up a little bit better, like that. So again, when we record these courses, we wanna have the first three waypoints in a relatively straight line. And I think we can do that here. So let's, let's try that, shall we? That's one waypoint. There's the second. And there we have the third. So now we're ready to drive. We're going to drive this way here, and remember, we are driving on a road with AI traffic, so do stay in the correct side of the road according to the map you're on. So if it's a UK style map, well, you want to be on the left side, and if it's a, a European style map, you want to be on the right side. So we're going to turn down here. There we go. Now, stay in the side of the road when you make these courses, because you can have several cosplay courses on the same road at the same time. So if you do it like this, there's room for the tractors to pass each other. And we're going to turn in here. Now I want the bales, I, I want to save these bales, because I have a lot of cows that need bedding and feeding as well. So right around here, I'm going to set a weight point. Here we go. This is where I want... Um, this tractor to unload the bales and when it's done unloading it's going to drive off so the next time it's going to come around here the bales will still be stood here so i need to move them now i haven't figured out a clever way of doing that other than doing it manually but i have a tractor standing ready to do that so i should be able to remove the bales in the time it takes the course blade tractor to return to the field and pick up a new load Hopefully. Well, that's at least the theory. Now you can do this in, in several ways. Um, if you were to sell the bales, well, there's a sell point right there over on the other side of the road. And you could just reverse into the sell point, set the waypoint, and, and get out of there again. And um, the cosplay would reverse into the sell point, and tip up the bales, sell them for you, and return to the field to collect new bales and return on the course. So that's one way of, of completely automatic uh, automate the system. Um, now, since we need the bales, I want to store them in here on the need uh, or in the shelter here uh, that we're looking at. So I need to set up the course to unload the bale here. I could, I could go ahead and intercept this tractor when it re reaches this point and manually back into uh, the shelter and unload the bales manually and just return to the course here. But I don't want to do that. So I am going to unload the bales here and try to see if I can um, actually manage to remove them before the cosplay tractor returns. So when it's done unloading the bales, it's going to continue on the course. So we're going to drive this way here. And we're going to go on to the main road up here that has AI traffic. So once again, make sure that you stay in the proper side of the road. And just there on the other side of the road is the sell point for bales. So you could just reverse into that one and tip the bales off. That would work perfectly. And you would have a completely automated system. 
Now the AI traffic is annoying. Um, uh, it's got to be said. So we need to to adjust our speed to this vehicle in front of us, um, which means that the course that the tractor is going to take uh, when it's driving on its own is going to be about 30 kilometers an hour as well, uh, seeing as it's driving with the same speed of the recorded speed. So we're going to go in here. Here we go. And we return to the start point of the course. which is up here all right this should be just about fine and we're going to turn in here and we are going to stop the recording here all right now we have a course for unloading bales so let's save this course here as field 28 uh, there we go field 28 bale to farm I'm just gonna call it that actually we're gonna call it bales to farm all right there we go bales to farm return to enter or return to save course so now we have the course, if we go into Manage Courses, we have the course here, Field 28 Bales to Farm. Let's put that into the Field 28 container in here. <clears throat> Sorry. The next thing we want to do is we want to set up the course for collecting the bales. So let's go into Field 28 container and we are going to get the Field 28 Harvest 7 meters course, because that's the one that we're going to use. So for this course here, there are a couple of things that we need to take into consideration. First of all, we want to be in field work mode, which is this one there. And this course is set to have um, the course in the center of, of where the combine was harvesting, which is right there, which means that the bales that we made um, are also in, this, in the center of the course. Obviously, I can't just go ahead and drive this course now because well, the tractor would would um, crash into the bales and, and we wouldn't be able to pick them up. So I need to tell Courseplay that my tool has an offset. Now, I haven't figured out a clever mathematic way of doing this, so I've just sort of like trials and error. So in here, um, if you go into to the driving settings, you have an offset, the tool offset horizontal. You want to put that to 2.5 meters to the left. There we go, 2.5 meters. You can tell, ah, oh, that's a little bit difficult to see. Maybe I can do it like this. 2.5 meters to the left. That is roughly where the pickup point for this tool is. So once you have it there, 2.5 meters to the left, you should be fine. This works for picking up bales absolutely fine. So we also want to tell this course to turn on the outside of the field. We don't want it to come to the end of the field, drive back and re or reverse back and turn because we can risk hitting another bale. So we want it to turn on the outside of the field. So we deactivate turn on field. Okay, that should be absolutely it. So let's start at the first waypoint. Oh wait, we need to combine the two courses. So let's head in here to field 28 container and we want to load the bales to farm. We are going to merge it into the already loaded course. So now we have two combined courses and now we should be ready to go. First waypoint, let's see how he goes. Drive course. It's going to go into the field and he's off. Okay, so here he is at the end of the field and now he's going to turn around and hopefully he has enough room for this. I think he's going to clear the tree just about... Wow, that was close. But he cleared the tree so he's good to go down um, this second lane here.
Okay guys, so now he's just about full and he's coming up to a turn point here. So he's gonna go outside of the field, turn around and return into the third lane of, of the field course. The one he's picked up the eighth bale, he's gonna stop the field course, return to the first point of that and pick up the transport course that we just set up. So let's watch him do this. Here we go, and the beacon is on, he's folded the equipment, returning to the last point or the first point of the fuel course and pick up the transport course. Now he's going to go onto the road and follow the course that we set up. So in a little while, Courseplay will tell us that he has reached the trigger. There we go, he's unloading the bales. So now we have eight bales that we need to uh, we need to remove before he's back here with the next load. We're just gonna watch him return to the field. Wow! Why did he do that? All right, well, we have seven bales now. <laughs> we need to remove. And he's gonna return to the field and collect another eight bales. And then he's going to come up to the end of the transport course and he's going to pick up uh, the field course again and return from where he left off. We're just going to watch him do that and then we're going to switch over to the Fent tractor to, um, to remove the bales, see if we can manage to do that in time. Here we go, he picked up the field course and now he's going to return to the last point he were on that. Come on. <clears throat> and as soon as he hits the field again, he's going to unfold the equipment. There we go. And he's back to picking up bales. So let's head back to this one here and remove the bales. All right, here we go. Alright, so we managed to remove the bales in time and we can see him coming up on the road down up there. So he will return to here in a little while. And we're under a little bit of pressure, time pressure, with stacking these bales. So it's not going to be as pretty as I wanted it to, but it is an automated system. It is functioning. We know that this works. So he's going to come back here. Let's just Go out here and watch him. Wow, he is he's driving fast, isn't he? He's uh, he's a quick little little bugger. And here he is, returning to the unload point. And unloading the bales again. So that's brilliant, that's actually really brilliant. Wow, he's really, he's not good at delivering the bales in a, in a smooth way, is he? Well, I guess that's the floor of the round bales. They are actually really unstable. And he's returning to the field to pick up more bales. So this system works, and that is actually a very good system for automating the bale to farm process. See if we can get this here 
without screwing up too much. Oh, come on. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. That's brilliant. Exactly what I wanted. All right, guys. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, go ahead and like this video. Uh, even if you didn't learn anything, if you think the video was good, go ahead and like it. And um, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye for now.